should be respected. Let me give you three reasons why. Number one is bad decision making. Uh, your decision making is shot. I mean, you buying boats and y'all already in debt. You buying new cars. You buying stuff you can't afford. You sleeping around on her. All kind of just bad decision making continually. I mean, you spent the last money out of the account. All this stuff, man. She like, Dad, hey, can I catch a break? Right. <laughs> That's one reason why she might show a lack of respect to you. Now, I'm not saying that she should disrespect you. Because if she's a virtuous woman of God, if she's a Proverbs 31 woman, she should be respecting you, right? But, number two, she doesn't feel you have her best interest. Right. She just thinks everything is about you. Even when we have sex, everything is about you. You don't never help me. Uh, everything is always about you. You get your check, you spend your money first. You don't even let me know what you got in the account. Uh, you did. She feels like you don't have her best interest. Now, if you if you love her like Christ loved the church, you, yeah, she comes before you. You serve you again. You serve your wife and your kids. Number three, and I know y'all get shot on this. She just probably don't know what respecting the man look like. She just probably don't know. <laughs> she just probably don't know. She grew up in a single parent home right. where her Come mother on. was kicking butt and taking names later. Come on. Right. And you saw her because she had a small waist and she had TNA and all sorts of stuff and it was jumping. And you was like, dang, I can deal with respect later. I just need to get in there. Uh, I can deal with I can deal with the rest later. <laughs> no, I got you that first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> You know, you're young, man. The hormones be, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know. First Peter three seven. I'm almost finished. Husband, you, you husbands, the same way, live with your wives in an understanding way, as with someone weaker, since she is a woman, and show her honor as a fellow heir of grace of life. Okay. Watch this. So your prayers won't be hindered. Right. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. How you treat your wife? That's it. Wow. How you treat yeah. your wife? I mean, think about this. Yeah, think about yeah. this. Think about this. Things could be out of control at the house. You right. praying, speaking in tongues, you falling out. You having a revival at home, right? right. <laughs> but on. everything is way out of whack. Yeah. Amen. And you consider, how am I treating my wife? Jesus. Come on. Yeah. You know, I just cussed her out at home. Now I'm about to carry your hand. Now we're about to go into the church together. We're about to go pray. Wow. Praise the Lord. You just cussed wow. her out in the car. Wow. Jesus. 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 So, again, that Jesus. first Peter 3 7. So your prayers won't be hindered. So I don't care how bad, how much you speak in the tongues, you tongue talking, fire walking, all this other stuff, you going off. <laughs> Naming, claiming, calling the hall that you going off. A pasta, a priest, a priest, you all that stuff. But she like, you don't know who this dude is at home. You don't know this dude, this dude is crazy. You serving on ministry. You you a deacon. You 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 handing out tracks. Wow. You doing all this stuff, and they homemade together. Yeah. To me, this is one of the coldest scriptures. It messed me up. Coldest, one of the coldest scriptures I ever read. First Timothy three five. But if a man does not know how to manage his own household, Ooh, how can he take care of the church of God? Come on, Come on. Man, this kid's crazy, and I know this is kind of. You know, I, I ain't trying to beat nobody up. I'm just trying to lay some groundwork because we men, we can talk, right? Oh, now, if I had a bunch of women, I can say, baby, listen. Right. Baby, listen. But with men, no. Just be honest. Just put it out come there. On. Yeah, come on. Why not? Now, how can you. Come on. Because everybody wants to start churches. Everybody wants to start church. Mm. What about your church at home? Come on. Oh. Come on. I show up as a ministry. I don't need it. You're not on, spending bro. a necessary time with God. And again, the reason why your wife don't trust you, because she like, that brother don't spend no time with God. He spend more time on the Xbox than he do with me. So, this divine revelation. <laughs> so, she like, I don't get it. I don't understand that, brother. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Jesus Lord. You know? Help us, Lord. Help us. Matthew, Matthew 28 19 and think about this think about this for, for single brothers think about this think about this single brothers think about this man and this can go for married people too if somebody, if somebody creeping around you know think about getting around think about when the rookie quarterback is drafted mm -hmm. most times he have to sit unless you're like RG3 or or, or 
or Andrew Luck, you just come out the first year, you just storming the gates, right? But the first year, every coach know you need to sit for a year because you need to learn. The playbook. Mm -hmm. right? Amen. So you, you're not about to get on the field. And again, if you're single, you're not going to get on the field and you don't know your playbook because you're going to screw everybody up. Yeah. You're going to get on the field and you're going to throw five interceptions and you're going to make us lose <laughs> because you haven't spent time in the playbook. Yeah. Think about how cold Brett Favre is, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. When he went to Minnesota, those first couple games, he didn't play. This dude was a Hall of, Hall of Fame quarterback. Uh, come on. No, you sit down because you don't understand the playbook yet. I don't care how, how cold you think you are. Get in the freaking playbook. Right. Man. Yeah. That's good. So good. Yeah. That was good. So, I said all that to say. You know, make sure uh, for, for a single man, because think about this. If you don't study your playbook, you can throw interceptions. That's it right there, man. Mm -hmm. You're not starting to play, but you don't understand. Because you don't understand, because he's supposed to be here, but you're not understanding your playbook, so you're throwing the ball over there. Mm -hmm. That's it, sir. Oh, watch out. So, the whole, the, 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 the bad thing about this, you know, so if you're single, don't go throwing your balls, I mean, ball to the opposite team. You said it like, you said it like, don't go. I'm just saying, don't go, yeah, don't go. You don't have to get balls through the other team. I mean, this is the goal, right? One of the things they teach the quarterback is to look off the defense. Look off the defense. Because if I'm staring you down, what's the quarterback going to do? He going to sit there, right? Peyton Manning know this. All the great ones know this. I'm going to look off the defense. Because she knows you checking her out. You need to be looking off the defense. Wow. Wow. Come on. I don't need to be paying that. Stay attention. on that. Right. Stay on that. I don't need, you know. <laughs> why? Because what happens is you're going to throw an interception mm. because she know that you're paying attention to her. Wow. Remember, she's wow. studying too. Wow. 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 She got a defensive playbook just like you got an offensive yeah. playbook. Come on, bro. Don't think that she don't know. Make it fun. Don't think that she don't know. Talk about it. Make it fun. You know, if you're married, don't go throwing interceptions. Yeah. Oh. That's it.